It's Debatable with Mark Gray here on MLBBro.com. Greetings, boys and girls. Welcome to Debatable, where we debate, deliberate, and pontificate on all things Major League Baseball. Pleased, honored, and privileged to be joined by the accomplished journalist and author Howard Bryant, who makes his first appearance on MLBBro.com. And then, of course, the incomparable Sam Crenshaw, star of stage, screen, podcast, and radio (laughs) in the ATL. He remembers well when Atlanta truly was too busy to hate. Could there have been a better way to not only address the social injustice, you know, by coming to Atlanta, having forums at all. Now, my thoughts are there, there were plenty of other ways to do it if they were committed to the social justice part of it. But I think that they're, I think that they were just expedient. Obviously, the way that you could have done this was you could have stayed in there and you could have said, look, we're going to use our PAC money. We're going to use our influence. We're going to use everything that we do to not have, to not have a, a state where we have one of our franchises located with these policies, they could have leaned in completely on on this, but that would have meant being actually committed to the social justice part of it. And and I think that baseball got put in a really difficult spot because let's also not forget the last piece of this, which is that while this, in the run up to this bill, all of the powerful Georgia business class and all some of these corporate sponsors who are now running for cover, they didn't say anything. They could have put a stop to this before the thing even went up to a vote by saying, look, if you do this, we're going to lose a lot and we can't ride with it. But they said nothing. And now they're backpedaling. I'm glad you mentioned that because that's kind of goes back to when the Braves first arrived in this town back in the 60s. The powers that be in this city, uh, strong members of the black community. They say the four things that made Atlanta great in the black community, the book, the bank, the Bible and the ballot was all here. And that's what got Maynard to Jackson in the office after the Braves came. They decided they didn't want to be like Birmingham. They didn't want to be like Memphis. Didn't want to be like Nashville. We didn't want that stuff in our streets. Coca-Cola threatened to leave town. If we're going to have people chase down the street with dogs and fire hoses, we're leaving. They wanted Atlanta to be different and separate themselves. And Atlanta Braves and Major League Baseball played a big part of that. Hank Aaron, the first black of the first superstar athlete in the Deep South, and and his brother-in-law, you know, Bill Lucas, people a lot don't remember, was the first general manager manager, in his teams. But you had an owner in Ted Turner. And that's the other thing with the Braves now. You got faceless ownership. Liberty, Liberty, uh, you know, broadcasting, Liberty communication, whatever they are. You know, I, I, you could line those guys up and I couldn't pick them out of the lineup. <laughs> and, and, and nobody else in town could. But they're running it. They're making big money. They moved it out there. They're making tons of money. They're in a situation where they can make money, even if there's no game going on. It's become a destination almost like, 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 like uh, Buckhead was for entertainment. It's amazing well, what they've done there. And let's not forget, that's also Rob Manfred's mandate as owner because he's not he's not Bud Selig. He doesn't have those in, individual personal uh, relationships. And also following Bud Selig's point of what he was doing, they Major League Baseball has purposely gotten rid of the Mavericks. They don't want any Al Davises. They don't want any Jerry Joneses. They don't want any Ted Turners. They don't want any more George Steinbrenners. So all of this plays into what Major League Baseball's ownership strategy is too. They want Fortune 500 quiet, silent businessmen who are going to follow the line. They don't want Mavericks. Mavericks are what caused the 94 strike. They've been getting away from that ever since. And the moral to the story is, folks, is that you can have a conscience, but at that level, your conscience is pumped by the dollar sign. And baseball's (laughs) conscience is all about the bench. And I was just going to say too, just in, in closing, do not think, especially for, for our people more than anybody else, do not think that Major League Baseball is suddenly some ally in our fight. Don't buy that, because that's not really what this was all about. See, that's what happens when you come to debatable. If you leave that stuff hanging out over the plate, it will be taken out with a very high launch <laughs> angle. And a guy like Howard Bryant is channeling his uh, Aaron Judge inner child. You feeling me? (laughs) Thanks to Howard Bryant. Thanks to Sam Crenshaw from Atlanta. I'm Mark Gray. Back at you next week. Will we go at it again? Debatable style. Remember, you leave that stuff hanging outside, we're going to take you deep. MLBbro.com, covering black and brown major leaguers.